Hi Libra, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. And let me just take a second to welcome the new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here, for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe if you like the reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, June 2020. I'm using steampunk for you guys. Libra, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, June 2020. Libra. Whoa, too many. That was a whole cluster. Perfect. Definitely. Okay, your central issue, the full reversed, Ten of Aries, Ten of Swords reversed, Seven of Swords reversed. Oh wow, I love where your head is at. Ace of Pentacles. Four cups. I mean, I absolutely love this crowning, you guys. You know, this is a beautiful, blessed energy literally being given to you by your angels, spirit guides, higher forces at play. Definitely starting down a new path. Look at the gold at the end of this rainbow. Right? That looks to me like you're pursuing your dreams. And it's absolutely amazing. The Seven of Swords in the recent past. I, I do kind of feel like some of you were kind of avoiding this new path. Like running away from it altogether because you didn't realize how amazing this would be. But some of you have definitely found ways to kind of cut corners. And your central issue, you have the full reverse sign of Aries. So some of you are dealing with that. But I honestly feel like this is fear-based. And I feel like that because... Out of fear, you did cut some corners and probably didn't establish the business to its full potential. You know, definitely some of you felt betrayed, stabbed in the back by an air sign. where you are the person that feels betrayed by someone. And, you know, when I talk about cutting corners, your outcome is still not being happy with the Four of Cups. You know, although you have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles, that, that's what's in your head. If you continue to... How do I want to say this? If you continue to concentrate on it, focus on it, build on it, that's what I'm thinking of. If you build on it, it will come, it will come true for you. Run towards this new path, Libra, because really all you're doing is, is holding on to... Oh, 
energy that's holding you back. You really do t need to take a, a risk, a leap of faith. The Ace of Pentacles, this is, this is the main goal. This is what's in your head. It's not manifested yet, but it's real. And it will manifest. Honestly, as soon as you as soon as you get up and do it, others of you, something unfortunately did end with a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Possibly an Aries, but I feel like if you lost your job or you know that you're gonna lose your job soon. It is time for you to take a, a risk, a leap of faith. Start something on your own. Someone could have gotten even fired because of bad behavior with the Seven of Swords reversed. And that is definitely going to come out into the light. Or it already has come out. Let's clarify it. Definitely starting with the Seven of Swords. Um, no. Let me... I'm going to use this to clarify for you guys. The Gilded um, Crown Royale. Justice is upright, which is your card. Truth absolutely coming out. Big, big decisions being made. Someone definitely got fired because the Ten of Swords is here. And I'm going to look. I want to, let's see. All right, I'm going to look at your... Four of Cups. Alright, awesome. Definitely that one. Three of Wands. Wow, and the Lovers reversed. Three of Wands, Lovers reversed. Someone's been indecisive a little bit. Like, sitting in there... Like, just emotional. With the Four of Cups, it's like, you know, being dissatisfied, you know, dissatisfied for a little by a while. You know, you've been waiting for something that hasn't come in yet. You could be waiting on a Gemini. You know, they could have bailed or something, and now you're stuck here waiting on them. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles for Libra. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Literally jumped right out of the deck. Oh my God. The Ace of Cups. It's not just money or career. It's love too. All right. Love, it looks like a Gemini, is making you wait. Like, they're not ready to take off. And that's leaving you really upset about this. Okay, let me let me look at this for I'm just going to take them. King of Pentacles reversed. Oh, wow. The Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to get one more. All right. And the Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. Okay. I feel like Libra and Gemini are lovers. They're in love. But I feel like 
you, Libra, is with this Queen of Wands, which is most likely an Aries female, or pick one. Libra could be with Gemini or an Aries, but one of them is not ready to take a leap of faith. If it's not love, then it's business. So that's going to be a third party situation. Business. And the secrets that are between Libra and Gemini and the King of Pentacles is going to be someone that's very greedy, you know, wanting control, wanting to control everything. This could be your boss. Definitely, uh, there's married Libras that have a third party in love. Could be coupled or tied to an Aries, but definitely wanting a Gemini, but having to wait on this Gemini. I'm going to see this four cups one more time. That should do it. Oh, oh fell on the floor. Sorry. The Emperor reversed. Aries male could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But this definitely looks like a love triangle for you guys. Libra and Gemini definitely want to be together. And then the partner to Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, wants to be with this other one. You know, I really feel like... Oh, God. This is going to sound so crazy. I almost feel like, especially if you're younger... But, and it is here. And I guarantee that I am going to get notified about this. Guaranteed. But for some of you, like, two couples are swapping. Like, I know it's crazy, but they are. Now, that's one storyline. And the other is about work. I feel like you're dis you're just dissatisfied, unhappy at work. You might need to take a, a risk, a leap of faith. You could be connecting to an Aries at work. Financially, things look absolutely amazing. If you take a leap of faith, give it a shot. I mean, give something a chance. Do something. Or if you're waiting on someone else, they're going to do it. Something. For some of you, it's definitely love and money, which is absolutely amazing. Not bad at all, guys. Please, if um, you like the reading, please be sure to subscribe. I would appreciate that. Absolutely adore you guys, and I will see you back here soon with the Love Monthlies. Take care.